Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane. Today we'll be making a video on Boldus. Boldus is a private blockchain for decentralized finance and for non-fungible tokens. The Boldus platform provides high processing speeds of up to 10,000 transactions per second, minimizing financial risk and providing SME financial solutions in Southeast Asia. Now, before we continue with this video, allow me to declare this video is not financial advice. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes. Now, Boldus is also a platform that provides mortgage loans for small and medium businesses, solving financial derivatives problems using blockchain and NFT protocols. In there, NFTs are non-fungible tokens, tokens that are unique and cannot be replaced by other tokens. Digital painting tokens, each picture is digitalized into completely independent NFTs. Although the picture is the same, but it has distinct properties. Highlights of boulders. Now we'll go through some of these highlights just to get a bit more in-depth understanding of boulders. BHO will be seen as a store of value, income generated assets, as well as providing access to lending network on the boulders system. The BHO is the native token and it represents the owner's voting power, in other words, acting as governance token. So speaking of token, this token is now valued at just around 5 cents, 0 0.056 cents. And it's got a huge supply. Circling in supply is 454 million and max and total supply is the same, sitting at 10 billion. Now market cap is just around 25 million. Now Boldus is a fairly new cryptocurrency to the market and it's been doing really well to be honest. Just recently around the 12th of October, it was at its all time high at 0 0.084 cents. So just around 8 cents. It's gotten really close to that 10 cent mark. And I do think that 10 cents and 15 cents is just a is just on the horizon. We're talking maybe later this year or early next year, we could be looking at 15 cents. But clearly, there's a lot of volume, a lot of investments have gone into Boulder's token. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be going for a price analysis and a price prediction as well. So let's continue with Boulder's. Now the Boulder's pool, participants can borrow, stake in and earn their assets up with attractive APR slash APY. Connected Boulder's ecosystem multi-chain create value and it expands access to many users on different blockchains. Boulder's also offers native stable coins with low transaction fees and high processing speed. Minimum transfer receive in seconds. Now this is a token that's on the Binance Smart Chain and the, and the token standard is a BEP slash 20 token. And we've got information for the token allocation. Private sales got 10%, early birds got 20%, market and public sales is 10%, ecosystem is 15, which is really good, and teams is 15 as well. Marketing is 10%, and I think marketing could have been even lower, possibly even 5%, and foundations is at 15%. Now there is a token release schedule. Along with other schedules, there's also a milestone schedule such as throughout 2021. From January earlier this year, there was an R&D in the blockchain network, DeFi and security, and white paper version 1.0 was released in May. June, the website was published and launched Boldest Testnet, which was really good that they got that done earlier in the year, well, around the middle of the year. And as of July, there was the mobile wallet integration. Testnet was digital assets and private sales in July. Now going to August, there was private stake in native assets and public sales and testnet cross-chain BSC slash Ethereum, BHO exchange listing in September. Really great time in September. Now as of October, there's testnet stake in BEP20, that's the native token itself, native token standard itself. And coming up in November, we'll have testnet penetration testing, security audit, masternodes alphas, and at the end of this year in December, they will launch the main net, which will be huge. They've been going through the testnet all throughout the year, which has been really successful. And I'm glad that's leading up to a big launch for the main net. Really exciting. Now, in additional news, Boldus launched stake and rewards event 
offering up to 50% interest. This was released on the 1st of October this year, so it's quite recent news. Bold as a blockchain dedicated to DeFi and NFTs, unveiled their special stake and rewards event to promote added benefits for long-term investments from the 1st of October this year up until December, the end of this year, 31st of December. Now, outpouring of the support from the community, Boulders dedicated the event to all BHO holders, which are people who hold the native token, which offers an interest rate of up to 50% per annual, which offers an interest rate of up to 50% per annum. This three-month event is an opportunity for all investors to earn a passive income with higher interest than typical stake in programs. Additionally, it is one of the many exciting activities to welcome the future launch of several products and services, including Baldus Mainnet in December 2021. Now at the time of the official listing on PancakeSwap, the Baldus token record price of up to 0.034 cents, that's around 3 cents. Prior to that, the project provided significant momentum as they've had successfully raised 3.7 million after three months. Now, during the time of stake and reward events, participants earn high yields rewards by simply sending BHO tokens to stake and wallet address on Boulder's website. Investors will receive their principal of after 90 days and interest in depending on the stake and program after choice. There are two programs within the stake and rewards event with details of them below. Now, there's no maximum limit of BHO for staking, and one wallet address can use both programs. Investors will not be able to add more BHO after they've, after they've completed the transfer of tokens to the Boulder Stake and Wallet addresses. So this is quite interesting and there's more information to go through. If you do find this interesting, you can check out this for yourself. Now, quite unfortunately, this token is not available to be viewed on TradingView, which means that it's really difficult for me to do a price analysis and a price prediction. Also, I've already given you my price prediction at around 10 to 15 cents around the end of this year, possibly early next year. That's in the next two to three months. So that's quite exciting for a price prediction. But I wanted to do a proper price analysis, you know, in depth. Unfortunately, it's not available to be viewed on trade and views. Yeah, completely not available as of yet. But it is available to be viewed on CoinMarketCap. And like I've said before, it's got plenty of volume in the market. And this is exactly what we want to see is good growth and an upward trajectory and all the way up to the beginning of and all the way up to the middle of October, around the 12th of October, there was just an upward trajectory. Now, it has gone down just a little bit. But to be honest, I'm actually impressed that it hasn't gone down more. It's lost some volume, but it hasn't lost much to where it is right now, around five cents or close to six cents. That hasn't lost a lot of volume, actually. That's actually really impressive. So that's the first thing that I want to point out, that that's actually really good. That's actually really impressive. Now, additionally, because Christmas is coming up and people are going to be putting less money into the market, I do think that crypto overall will have an impact, including boulders, other cryptos such as big crypto projects such as Bitcoin, Ethereum. Every crypto will have an impact. Whether that impact will be big or small, we don't really know. Now, one of the best things is that it's fresh in the market. Boulders is really fresh in the market, which means that the hype isn't going away for any time soon. And it's got plenty of people fascinated with this project because there's a lot of things that this project has its hands involved in, such as NFTs. This is a DAP building platform. Let's not forget that. So this puts it in similar leagues to Solana, Ethereum, other DAP building platforms as well. Cross-chain network, they're involved in that as well. Multi-digital asset issuance system. Plenty of things that they're involved in. And this just makes it really exciting for anyone who's getting involved. Since the 7th of October, announcements of Boldus Multisig Wallet. Now it's actually quite short and sweet, but we'll go through it anyway. BHO is developed as an upgradable smart contract to ensure that the source code can always be upgradable in the urgent future solution situations. Therefore, Boldus decides to convert our owner accounts to multi-signature wallets for three main purposes, preventing the risk of being hacked and ensuring users safety and security, avoiding decentralized risk, conforming to audit standards required by CERTIC, 
And there's details about the multi-sig wallets as well that are on the blog. So if you guys are interested in this, you can check this out for yourself. But I needed to add this into the video to show you just how much things are going on through the Baldus ecosystem. New updates that are coming for the rest of the year. It's an exciting time. Now, and one news that we can end on is what is multi-chain and cross-chain? Multi-chain means cross-platform, specifically in the crypto market. If a project is deployed on a multi-chain, it must be deployed on at least two chains, which can be Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Solana, Polkadot, Avalanche, and or other blockchains. Cross-chain, on the other hand, is a solution that allows the transfers of assets from one chain to another chain in order to optimize the ability to synchronize. Cross-chain projects allow users to connect and transfer assets between different blockchain platforms. And multi-chain simply refers to many different chains, specifically besides the original chain, such as Ethereum, a specific project can be deployed independently in another chain, such as BSC or Polkadot. However, the asset can only be flowed between independent chains by a cross-chain solution, which is a tool that allows users to transfer assets between the Ethereum chain and other chains available on the platform. A lot of people don't actually know about multi-chain and cross-chain, how they work. And in just a simple article, a simple explanation, a summary, I've explained to you how multi-chain works and how cross-chain works. So if you learned something new, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Now, thank you for watching. And of course, I will see you in my next video.